show everybody how friendly you are? Come on. Uh huh. Yes. Come on. Come on. You can come see me. Yeah. These little darlings. Two of the ah, two of the four rosies are spoken for. Mm hmm. The little hen is not. I think she's the one chewing on my fingernail. <laughs> yeah. So the two of the males, there's three males, three rosy males and a hen. And these are from two different clutches. <laughs> yeah, I love you all. Yes, I do. This one up on the swing. We can't see you. <sighs> okay. Don't. Come on. What do you think you're doing? Huh? Uh-oh. No, I don't want you to come out. Go back in. Uh -huh. Stay in the cage for me. Stay in the cage. I'm not able to take pictures of you if you're flying all over the room. Mm -mm. Stay there. I should put the door back down. <laughs> they know how to get out, don't you? Okay. These four beauties are hand-fed rosy bork parakeets and as I've said before two males are sold. They're gonna leave uh, probably Friday and one other male is being considered and the little hen she's unrelated to the, the remaining male and that little lutino over there I, I have another lutino in the nest but this one is staying here. Okay, it's a very difficult to take your picture when you're up there. I hope I'm getting you in the camera. It's on my shoulder. They're very sweet, adorable babies. I mean, could you come hold the camera while I rescue myself from birds climbing up my arm and onto my shoulder and... <laughs> okay. Let's put you guys back and get your sibling over here who's outside the cage. No, you stay there. Come here. Come on. Yeah, I know. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, they're very friendly. Come on. Oh, you don't want to go back in your cage, huh? Well, you're gonna. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't want to go back. Come here. I think this is the little hen, and she's still for sale. Uh-huh. Look up here. Get on the swing. Oh. <laughs> okay. I just, and this one, we have one of the three males is available with her. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love you all. You're just adorable. Borks don't really like to have their heads scratched, but you can pet them. They don't mind that very much. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, that one's on my shoulder. They do, I've tried to get them to get used to landing on my shoulder versus your head or an arm or something. Yes. Okay, I think we've got enough pictures of you now. Everybody's been filmed. Come here, you, on my shoulder. Okay, there we go. Okie doke. <laughs> they don't want to say goodbye. They want to come out and play. They're wonderful birds. I love rosy bork parakeets. And as I said, this is the from the first clutch of 2017. And we have 11 babies in three nests right now. Okay, these are four more baby bork parakeets that hatched in March of 2017. And two of these are spoken for and two are not. Yeah, so let's say hello. I know. 
show everybody how friendly and sweet you are. In reality, these two normals are always the first to fly to me and the most eager to come outside their cage, aren't you? Yeah. So this little Lutino and this little sibling of hers next to her, they're both spoken for and they're going to leave us probably Thursday this week. And these two guys whom I adore, they're brothers. Their father throws Lutino birds as well, so they might be split to Lutino, possibly. Mm -hmm. So that's their sister. Yeah. There were five in this clutch, and the one, the mother and father, Stormy and Peaches, have five babies in the nest right now, with one being, one is a Lutino or a Rubino. Can't tell yet. Uh huh. What are you doing? Hmm. You guys are so cute. They are pretty. Their colors darken, all of them darken as they mature. Her pink will get brighter. Their blues and their chests will get more rosy, and the blue on their wings and their rump will get brighter. He, this little guy, he'll get a darker pink. Yeah, it's just something that they do as they mature. Their colors brighten, and you can tell they're just when they're hand fed, they make absolutely wonderful pets. Yes. I wish I had two hands I could pet you. You can pet them. They don't like to have their heads scratched. Borks, unlike most parrots and parakeets, they don't even groom their mates. You know, they just groom themselves and nobody else. So that probably has something to do with the reason that they don't like to have their heads scratched, like most other parakeet or hook, hook bill, hooked bill birds do. Yeah. Oh, you guys. All right, I'm going to get out and go have dinner with my husband. Bye now. Come on, get off. Get off, get off, get off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Peach has just left her box, so I thought I'd grab a chance to see her five babies. I banded three of them this morning. What's exciting is that one of them has red eyes, so it will be either a Latino or a Rubino. Rosie Bork. Yeah. They're not very active at the moment. Yes. Hi, hey, sweeties. I have other photos of them, of other babies. These are her second clutch in 2017.